It's the biggest gathering of members of the bar and the bench in Port Harcourt River State. They are all here to give backing to the state government for achieving a feat, which they say many state governments have not been able to attempt. My brother, Mr. President, the Attorney Mr. General of the State and Commission of the Justice and the Advisor on Special Projects tell the gathering how this project was conceived by the state. All we have done for the judiciary and the judicial system is to open courts and not close them, is to ensure that more court halls are built, is to ensure that the administration of justice is speedier. These courtrooms are, are very, very comfortable with uh, air conditioners. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you as well that the judges that work should work in a conducive environment. There are provisions for six chambers here. These chambers are in suit and are very exquisite. My 19th and 26th Goodwill messages poured in for the governor from members of the Nigerian Bar Association, after which the visioner himself, Governor Nyesem Wike, explained the difficulty in justice delivery before now. The least we can do is to support it, to reinvent itself and bring about a qualitative change that we all need in the justice delivery system. Nevertheless, let us not forget that the generality of Nigerians still have great trust and faith on the nation's judiciary as the last hope of the common man. The chief judge of the Federal High Court also had few words on the need to have a vibrant judiciary. This citadel of justice, and indeed the Federal High Court, shall remain a place where all who seek for justice shall find justice unadulterated. And then the official commissioning of the complex. I commission it in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. After that, the dignitaries inspect the facility, which has six courtrooms, with each having a capacity of 70 people and other inner offices. Justice delayed is justice denied. And this appears to be what the River State government is trying to avoid as it seeks to ensure that justice is delivered efficiently and quickly for the good of the people.